Well, China's Premier Li Chang said a lack of trust has been aggravating risks to global growth. Do you agree? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think uh, global economy and global growth needs uh, predictability. And in that sense, on the um, um, growing um, security challenges, uh, unilateral actions of uh, individual uh, member states of the um, trading uh, system uh, clearly uh, does impact negatively uh, economic growth. And in that sense, I think the uh, importance uh, of a uh, forum uh, like uh, this one is exactly in uh, having a right platform for public and uh, private sector uh, to come across, uh, share uh, the uh, views, uh, and uh, definitely more predictability, security, and stability would never hurt uh, for economic growth and development, but in fact would be reasons that will uh, fuel it. That's a big ask <laughs> to have pr predictability because, of course, I know the markets um, hate uncertainty. Um, as, <coughs> as the world goes greener, how is Azerbaijan diversifying the economy away from fossil fuels? Uh, we have been uh, investing uh, systemically, both institutionally and also on in terms of economic uh, policies and infrastructure uh, in ensuring uh, smooth energy transition. Uh, according to our national goals, uh, by 2030, 30% 30, uh, 30 uh, of our uh, energy demand will need to be uh, covered uh, from uh, renewable sources. We're well uh, ahead of that uh, plan. Uh, we are open uh, for uh, cooperation uh, with uh, investors. And because Azerbaijan is a traditional uh, energy uh, producer, we uh, have a good uh, array, both of international energy companies active and investing in renewable projects in Azerbaijan, but also national uh, champions. So uh, uh, it is of no coincidence uh, in that regard that uh, our country has been uh, entrusted uh, decision by consensus to host COP29, uh, a task that we uh, take uh, absolutely responsible and uh, seriously, and we uh, seek to contribute to uh, this uh, process. Uh, talking of um, uh, energy transition and uh, renewable energy production, I think I also want to mention that uh, while, as we speak, uh, we continue to be a pan-European uh, supplier uh, in terms of the fossil fuels, both uh, oil uh, and natural uh, gas, uh, it is only natural that we are uh, planning a, a project aimed at exporting um, green uh, energy. Uh, to uh, European uh, Union, and this is a regional uh, project uh, initiated by Azerbaijan jointly with uh, Georgia, uh, Bulgaria, Romania, now Hungary is joining, and uh, across the Caspian, as uh, we are also belonging to the Central Asian and Caspian region, we uh, are in a very good uh, and productive discussions with countries across the Caspian also to link them uh, into that. This project envisages uh, production of uh, wind and solar energy, uh, in Azerbaijan and uh, other uh, countries and uh, transmission to European market via Black Sea, uh, Seabed uh, Cable, which will be another contribution to um, uh, global energy security and transition. So lots of plans in terms of collaboration and, and partnerships. You've mentioned regions there in terms of Europe um, and, and nations um, with interest in, in the Caspian Sea. Um, which, where else would you like to forge partnerships? Where are some exciting projects in the pipeline? We have strong uh, um, existing and growing relationship with uh, multiple uh, partners. If you look at the trade uh, balance of Azerbaijan, uh, our major trading partners are uh, European Union, China, uh, Russian Federation, of course, Turkey, Central Asian states, uh, and uh, GCC uh, countries. Uh, and that does represent, in a way, uh, also the uh, f structure of our uh, mutual investments. Um, Azerbaijan is also located on the crossroads uh, of uh, various transport routes uh, and uh, clearly east-west, uh, the uh, route that connects, actually the shortest uh, route that uh, connects uh, China to uh, Europe, passes through Central Asian states across Caspian and via uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, similarly, same is true with respect to north-south. Uh, uh, and uh, that uh, our geography, in a way, uh, also uh, defines uh, our uh, economic uh, partnership. 
Let's talk about trade. Let's talk about investments. I mean, what big investments have there been into Azerbaijan from China and indeed the other way around? Uh, China is an uh, important and growing trading uh, partner uh, of Azerbaijan. Uh, our trade volume uh, last year exceeded uh, $3 billion and we recorded uh, uh, growth in double digits. Uh, it continues. Uh, we uh, have uh, a permanent uh, trade representative office uh, uh, in uh, China. Uh, uh, our uh, relationship um, continue in a field of uh, investments as we speak. A number of uh, Chinese uh, companies are uh, active in carrying out the projects in various fields of Azerbaijan. These include renewable energy, industrial uh, production, uh, cooperation in the field of industrial clusters. Uh, um, I already mentioned the uh, transportation uh, route uh, that uh, links and provides for a safe and reliable and speedy uh, uh, transport of uh, cargo and transit of uh, cargo uh, between uh, our countries or through uh, Azerbaijan in uh, both uh, directions. Um, and this is all based on excellent political relationship which exists, as uh, I already mentioned, Azerbaijan supports the principle of uh, one uh, China, and that's uh, also a very strong uh, foundation for uh, our uh, relationship. Let's talk about future engines of growth. A uh, big theme at Davos has been that the benefits, along with the risks of artificial intelligence. So let's talk about technology and, and what AI means to to Azerbaijan, your digital transformation, how, how do you see it happening? How important is it for Azerbaijan's economy? Well, it's absolutely uh, important, I think, for uh, any economy uh, in the world, and Azerbaijan is not an exception. Uh, we have been recognizing the uh, necessity to act uh, and promote uh, also institutionally. World Economic Forum, I must say, has been a very good partner. Azerbaijan was the first uh, country in uh, CIS uh, to uh, end in the region indeed to set up a, a force um, affiliated center uh, for force industrial revolution which along uh, with other uh, public and governmental uh, and private uh, agencies is spearheading the uh, uh, increase of the speed of digitalization uh, in uh, specifically in economy but also in other uh, areas of Azerbaijan as we speak we are developing uh, uh, local uh, generative uh, AI. Uh, similarly, um, AI solutions are uh, being uh, applied by our uh, leading blue chip uh, chips companies, uh, both state-owned and uh, private-owned. But this is a, a space where the uh, speed of change uh, is a, a speed of uh, light. So I think uh, continuous uh, uh, investment and raising awareness also in terms of the, uh, providing the right bridges between uh, education and uh, economy, uh, human capital formation are necessary uh, elements uh, in uh, order to not only to stay in the race, but to uh, make sure that uh, it impacts uh, positively the uh, economic development and prosperity of the nation. Of course, Azerbaijan is going to be hosting COP29 later this year. Um, the second country in a row to hold the meeting whose economy is underpinned by oil. Um, and significant gas reserves. What's your goal for COP? Uh, our goal, uh, Azerbaijan has been uh, entrusted the uh, COP29. Uh, this is a, a process uh, of which uh, we are um, honored uh, to uh, chair uh, and preside over uh, this uh, year. Uh, um, our focus uh, and theme of this uh, year subject will be around climate uh, financing. I think it's extremely uh, important. And the reason being that mainly, uh, and I think we have to give credit to very successful uh, presidency of uh, United Arab uh, Emirates uh, within COP28, the results achieved there. Many questions which start with what to do have been, uh, uh, we believe, answered. But we have been lagging behind in terms of answering to the question how to deliver, how to do, and uh, financing and uh, mechanisms being in the center of them. Azerbaijan is uniquely uh, positioned uh, because of its history uh, of uh, both of being on the crossroads. You already mentioned it being um, probably one of the uh, oldest 
nations where industrial production of uh, energy, uh, uh, of oil, have started. And similarly, we are ready to uh, play our role, especially in uh, bridging uh, north and uh, south, uh, uh, specifically also with the purpose of uh, financial uh, mechanisms, uh, and uh, uh, supporting uh, and continuing the uh, good uh, initiatives and basis on which consensus is already there. We are seeking, working hand by hand with uh, all uh, stakeholders to uh, contribute new, new initiatives. So COP29 will be uh, an exciting uh, journey uh, and we will do uh, our uh, best to um, uh, take a step uh, further from uh, where we are in this process. We've talked about the themes that have been covered here in Davos, climate change, financing, artificial intelligence, um, increasing geopolitical tensions. If there was one thing that, that, that everyone would change as a result of this meeting in Davos, what would you like it to be? Well, if we have to uh, go for uh, one thing, uh, I, I guess uh, this is um, uh, this wouldn't be um, okay. I will say it the way it will be. Uh, to me, uh, uh, this will be um, adherence to the uh, stated uh, principles to real actions, and that's all what it takes. Uh, all it takes is to. Uh, uh, act as we uh, are saying that we are acting and have an uh, open dialogue within that framework of uh, international law, rule and order uh, that exists both for uh, economic and non-economic uh, issues in, uh, uh, in our planet.